there's this full WhatsApp clone with 10 AI personalities that text like real people and a startup simulator that lets you test your product idea by acting like a brutally honest customer, complete with objections, hesitations, and a final verdict. Both built in under two hours with a new AI tool that quietly launched a few weeks ago. It's called Emergent, and unlike most tools, this one builds the entire product, web, games, extensions, complete with backend, auth, testing, and deployment. No templates, no stitching things together. You give it a goal and it delivers a working build, end to end. People are already making wild stuff. A voice activated snake game, a retro camera app with randomized vintage filters, and one of the wildest is a fashion app that breaks down celebrity outfits and gives you affordable links to buy the same look. These aren't ideas, they're real working apps built and deployed in hours straight from a prompt. By the way, this video is sponsored by Emergent, but just like always, we don't feature anything unless we're actually impressed by it. If it's in a video, it's because we think it's worth your time. All right, now let's break this down, starting with the platform capabilities. This is where most no-code and AI coding platforms tend to hit a wall. You might get a working prototype, maybe even a half-decent UI, but it's rarely something you'd call production-ready. Emergence approach is fundamentally different. Instead of offering templates or pre-built blocks, it uses what they call agentic generation. That means every part of your product is constructed in response to your prompt and preferences, not selected from a list, but custom generated from scratch. The front end, back end, authentication flows, storage logic, deployment hooks, it all comes together seamlessly. You start with a plain English prompt. Let's say you wanna build a habit tracking app. The agent asks a few clarifying questions. What platform do you want to support? Any specific UI behavior, backend requirements? Once it has enough context, it starts generating everything from the onboarding flow and user dashboard to the logic for daily habit reminders and progress visualizations. You can preview the build at any point in real time and see exactly how it behaves across different environments. If something's off, you don't edit code manually, you just prompt the agent with what needs to change and it updates the logic for you. Emergent uses a single code base, typically React base, and handles all the hooks, component logic, backend services, and authentication. Deployment is handled through Emergent's infrastructure, secure, persistent, and optimized for performance. That alone would be a huge leap forward, but what gives this update its real weight is how Emergent positions each product within its broader stack. This isn't an isolated tool. All app types, web apps, games, Chrome extensions are part of the same development universe, all built with the same interface, using the same logic and underlying agent engine. You could, in a single day, generate a responsive app, a companion website, a backend admin dashboard, and even a browser extension that syncs with the same user data. All consistent, all AI built, and all deployable through the same platform. And then there's pro mode, which feels more like a toolkit for advanced builders than a feature. This is where Emergent turns into something close to an AI dev co-pilot. You get full control over the system prompt. That means you can shape how the agent reasons, prioritize how it structures code, define the architectural style, and even modify its design logic. You can build agents that develop apps the way your team does, including naming conventions, component structure, and data modeling preferences. For instance, if you work in a microservice heavy environment and prefer loosely coupled APIs, you can instruct the agent to reflect that. If you follow atomic design principles in your front-end components, you can embed that into your agent. It becomes more than a code generator. It's a mirrored intelligence that adapts to your way of building. You also get persistent memory for these agents. So if you create a custom one tuned to a specific startup or vertical, you don't need to reconfigure it every session. It remembers how you operate over time. It becomes faster and more aligned. There's nothing quite like it available today, not even from the major LLM platforms. And it's not just about generation, it's about what happens after. Emergent now runs on two types of AI testing agents. The first is E1, the stable version. It handles front end, back end testing in a unified pass, running integration tests, flow logic checks, and even UI behavior validation. It's slower and consumes more credits, but the output is reliable enough for production deployment. The other option is E1.1, which is modular and more flexible. It runs backend tests first, 
then lets you choose whether to manually test the front end or delegate it to a dedicated agent. This split saves both time and compute cost and is ideal for users working in back-end heavy projects or iterative front-end environments. It also supports more third-party integrations, which gives you broader compatibility across modern dev stacks. Let's talk credits for a moment because this system is what makes Emergence so transparent. You don't pay for access, you pay for execution. Every time the agent writes code, tests something, runs a deployment, or integrates with a third-party tool, it consumes a small number of credits based on complexity. The free tier gives you five credits per month, and the standard plan gives you 100 for $20 monthly. You can top up at any time, 50 credits cost $10, and those don't expire. There's also a budget cap for each task, so you can set a ceiling of up to 500 credits. That way, if a job goes off track, you're not burning through your whole balance. It only charges credits for actions that generate actual work. That means asking questions or chatting with the agent doesn't cost anything until something is being built, tested, or deployed. Emergent uses this logic to avoid compute waste, and it's pretty effective. If you want to save more, you can use the rollback feature to delete unnecessary messages but keep the working code. That reduces session size and credit use while preserving output. For large projects, it's best to commit your work to GitHub regularly, then start fresh tasks using that base as reference. Emergent integrates with GitHub natively so you can push code, select branches, and manage collaboration from within the chat interface. Now let's touch on deployment. Every app you build, whether it's a web dashboard, a Chrome extension, or an internal tool can be previewed live. Click preview and you get a fully interactive version of the product hosted by Emergent. It updates in real time as changes are made so you can tweak flows, debug UI behavior, and adjust logic with instant feedback. Once satisfied, click deploy, wait around 15 minutes and your app goes live on a permanent production grade link. It stays hosted 24 seven unless you decide to shut it down. Each deployed app costs 50 credits monthly, but you can replace deployments without extra cost, roll back to earlier versions, or pause apps to stop charges. You can even attach a custom domain by modifying A records and pointing them to Emergence Infrastructure. Debugging is handled conversationally. If the preview shows an error, copy the message and paste it into the agent. It will analyze the cause and offer a fix. No need to open a debugger console unless you want to go deeper. And if you do, there's a full code editor modeled after VS Code built right into the interface. All of this works across use cases. Let's say you're a founder trying to validate an idea. Emergent gets you from concept to production link in hours. You want a startup tool that roasts your pitch? There's one. You want a recipe generator that responds to your mood and fridge contents? Done. You want a VO3 powered anime generator built already. These aren't just demos. Each of them is fully interactive and deployable. There are extensions too, a Grammarly style writing assistant, a secure password vault, YouTube summarizer, and even a Pinterest style board generator for image curation. You can build internal tools, marketplace clones, AI chat apps, or simulation games. Everything is scaffolded by the agent and tuned based on your instructions. Some standout builds include a budget tracker with UI transitions that feel native, a WhatsApp clone where AI personalities chat with you based on predefined personas, an Instagram replica complete with scroll behavior and profiles. All of these were built using the same agent prompt flow. There's no extra tooling needed. If you're building across platforms, you're not switching tools anymore. Web, games, extensions, it's all here. The same prompt that kicks off your app could extend into a Chrome extension and a marketing landing page. This is what makes Emergent different from piecemeal builders or no-code sandboxes. It's a cohesive production-grade ecosystem where all components speak the same language because they're generated by the same intelligence. So what do you think? Is this the start of fully AI-built startups? or are we still dreaming too big? Drop your thoughts in the comments, I read all of them. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.